Good morning, bro. Something about happiness literally just clicked in my head and I want to speak about it in this video. There's a well-known phrase and there's a well-known way of life where people will be on the pursuit of happiness. But something just clicked in my head about the happiest people I know. None of them are on the pursuit of happiness. Not even one of them. At least not on an intentional, purposeful, I am pursuing happiness specifically level. Those people that I'm speaking about, the people I know who are very, very happy in their lives, as and as in like that is their kind of their baseline existence is just a content, happy, fulfilled kind of experience. Not one of them are actively pursuing happiness. They are pursuing things that they perceive as valuable and worth something in their own mind. They are pursuing those things and are just happy by proxy or by default. And this isn't me because I, I hate the message that happiness is the goal. However, I do like to speak about it because naturally as humans we kind of would probably prefer to be happy over being depressed so i might as well speak about what i have learned about the happiest people i know which is that they're not on the pursuit of happiness they find happiness in the pursuit and it's not even an as i said it's not an intentional looking or searching for this happiness it just comes with whatever they do and i can give an example from my own life I was pretty much happy, uh, happy, like happy, such a fucking airy fairy word, but I was pretty much my baseline emotion and experience and mental state was one of happiness slash contentment slash fulfillment all throughout 2023. And I have figured out exactly why that was. It is because every single week, I had a goal that I was checking off and it was contributing towards one big goal at the end of the year. And if you don't know what goal I'm referring to, I'll speak about it now very briefly. Throughout the year 2023, I undertook a project in which every single weekend of the year, I traveled to a new location in Ireland every single week. And while there, I recorded a lot of videos, took a lot of photos and made like an Instagram reel of the location I was at, essentially kind of promoting that area. And like I was for want of a better fucking term, because I hate the term, but I was a travel influencer on my Instagram page for all of 2023. And I really, really have been thinking about that recently because recently, to be honest, I haven't been that happy. I haven't been very content, very fulfilled. I, On a, like a long-term basis, I know that I will be because each YouTube video that I post, I'm like, okay, this was a really good one. This was an extension, uh, an improvement upon my previous videos. And each time I post a video, I feel as though I'm refining and reiterating what it is I want to do with my YouTube channel. But what I realized about Tig's Travels, which was my Instagram series on dur during, the, during the year 2023, was that if you do not have something to aim up at, as in each week I was aiming up at getting, going to a new location, making the Instagram reel better than the previous week. And I knew that it was like the bigger aim was to have, to have a huge montage at the end of the year of all the prettiest places that I went to in Ireland and have that as a, you know, like a kind of like a memoir or a, what you, what's the word I'm looking for? A, I suppose a reminder of what I achieved throughout that year. So each week, it was like I was building upon the previous week's goals and I was increasing the ask of myself each and every week of the year for 52 weeks straight. And bro, genuinely, for most of 2023, of course, despite a few hiccups here and there, a few, you know, bad situations or undesirable outcomes of x y and z as life tends to throw your way 
I just genuinely felt almost always fulfilled and happy and all the nice happy happy positive feelings that all the you know the mental health influencers talk about but it was nothing to do with like an inner thing it wasn't really I didn't have like an inner peace or you know all this like woo woo shit that people talk about online where they're like oh it's just about finding compassion inside of your chest and all this kind of shit but like how can you do that I, 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 I've struggled to understand how your actions do not have an impact on your thoughts and like your inner experience, your inner peace, happiness, contentment, fulfillment, and so on and so forth. Because right now, these days, I don't do a whole lot. I work, I go to the gym. I meet up with a friend or two, maybe once, maybe once a week if I'm lucky, and I make YouTube videos. And it's a weird one because YouTube, although I thoroughly enjoy it, I'm like I wouldn't be recording all these videos if I didn't enjoy them. But I don't have a specific. I do have a specific goal on YouTube, a big overall overarching goal. However, I don't have like weekly or monthly or quarterly goals and I think that is a big part of why I'm struggling a little bit right now is because in contrast to 2023 every single week in 2023 I was literally taking a big box where I was like yeah I went to a new place I recorded a nice reel I got to experience nature I got to do all these things and I got to tick every single box and I you know I got to bring a new person with me on the travels and all that kind of shit whereas right now yeah I don't have any specific measurable attainable realistic and timeline based goals right now any smart goals and I think that is what has clicked about happiness and happy people with me because the people I know who are the happiest they always have goal slash goals that they are working towards and that they're but it's not like a a very distant goal like my goal on YouTube is to be literally the number one Irish YouTuber on the fucking face of the planet and I know that day will come but it's very very hard for me to see see the light at the end of that tunnel because that tunnel is a very very long way away i don't even know who the who the most like successful irish youtuber is to be honest that's probably something i need to figure out something i need to find out for myself is who my competition is but so i so i do have a, like an overarching big goal with youtube but i don't have like a weekly goal or a monthly goal or a quarterly goal that I can be like, oh yeah, shit, okay, I taken, I'm taking off this, so therefore I know I'm on the path towards success. For me, at the moment, it's like, okay, I posted this video, it got 300 views and plus three subscribers, so therefore, yeah, I suppose I can tick off, I'm get, tick off the, like, the box that tells me I'm getting closer towards my overarching bigger goal. But that's a, there's, it's a very huge gap in the contrast between where I am right now versus what my goal is so something for myself like that, this video is pretty much just for me even though you've watched nearly 10 minutes of it but it's to be honest this video is kind of just for me but hopefully you'll be able to take some action steps from my own self-talk which is pretty much what this video has been to figure out and realize that happiness isn't just some internal state that you can oh you can just choose to be happy like uh, that advice is fucking stupid because no you can't if you're not doing something that contributes towards the achievement of that happiness then how the fuck can you just expect to be happy and i suppose it's kind of like it's kind of like what i talk about in my videos where i talk about you get good at whatever you spend your time doing. So if you're not spending your time doing things that contribute towards your happiness or whatever you're like, happiness is just one emotion. I'm talking about, I'm talking specifically about happiness in this video, but it could be any specific emotion that you want to elicit in yourself. 
if you don't spend time doing things that make you a master of happiness or your desired emotion or state or place or experience, then you're just going to get dealt whatever is the path of least resistance. At least that's what I think right now. And that's what makes sense in my head right now. Come back in another month or two and I could be just completely saying the opposite of that because I am a bit of a walking contradiction, but I do try my best to show the inner workings of my brain as honestly and rawly is rawly a word in an in as raw a way as possible in as genuine and authentically a way as possible so if that's what you enjoy you can feel free to subscribe because i do this in pretty much every video or at least i certainly try to and i don't think that's that common these days i think a lot of people online have suffered the perils of audience capture they have become whatever the audience has their audience their specific audience has responded most positively to but i don't want to do that i want to make a conscious effort to be my unfiltered authentic self so if that's something you're interested in make sure you press subscribe so that you don't miss other videos like this and maybe by you pressing subscribe someone else might be suggested this kind of video and this might be exactly what they need because i've been speaking to friends recently and a lot of them are down right now a lot of them are feeling stagnant feeling stuck feeling kind of low and i have been the last maybe maybe two weeks roughly something like that today is the 15th of may i think I, I think i don't really know to be honest but um yeah subscribe but then second of all i hope this video has made sense to the people who needed to see this video i hope there's someone who has watched this video and has realized oh shit, maybe he's right that the pursuit of happiness doesn't really make sense, but finding the happiness in pursuit does. And what I mean by the happiness of pursuit is that you must be pursuing something. Not even that you must be pursuing something because that that actually is only a half truth because the the full truth is that you are always pursuing something. You are always following a plan, whether or not you are aware of it. And that should frighten you. If you're not very much so tuned into the plan that you're following, that should frighten you because the the plan that you are following, if you're not consciously and intentionally following a plan that you elicit yourself or your god gives you or whatever however you form your plans then you are following the plan which is the path of least resistance which is very very fucking rarely a good path and that's that's bro that's i can tell you that from like complete honesty i had to literally move my xbox back home to my home house which i no longer live in because that was my path of least resistance. It was so much easier for me to play Warzone for three hours than it is for me to fucking drag myself out of my house, get into my car, drive to the location I record my videos, and then edit and post them. It's so much easier to play Xbox, which is what I mean when I say the path of least resistance. So get clear on... First of all, get clear on what I'm saying when I say... It's not about the pursuit of happiness. It's about the happiness of pursuit. Figure out what is the thing that you are pursuing. But don't just have a big, huge goal that's years down the line and no like smaller weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly goals. Because if you don't have those smaller goals, you will get absolutely swallowed up by the hugeness of your big goal. I genuinely believe it is so important to have massive goals, massive dreams, but not without the dissection of that huge, incredible goal and dream into smaller, bite-sized chunks that you can literally take off week by week and that show your progress. Because that is how you end up 
feeling overwhelmed and also losing the ability to find the happiness in the pursuit. So that is the first thing to realize from this video. The second thing to realize from this video is to fucking realize that you're following a plan always fucking always bro it's but it it can only be the plan that you want it to be if you were conscious and intentional in following that plan and that is why i post these youtube videos every single day is to follow my own plan but also to hopefully inspire other people to figure out what their plan is figure out what is the thing that you are pursuing for me personally it is to become an absolute master of public speaking it is to touch the lives and the hearts of anyone who fucking watches my videos bro that is such a meaningful thing to me personally which is why i post these videos every single day and lastly the thing to realize about this video is that you can do it you have it within you and i pray that you reach whatever your destination is but remember it's not about the destination it's about the journey it's not the pursuit of happiness it's the happiness of pursuit that's all that i've got for today bros so until next time